Hey, what's up, guys? Jay's Two Cents here, over here in the corner. Uh, quick warning, if you guys are watching this on a smartphone or a tablet, it might be better to watch this on a desktop, only because what we're gonna be looking at here is an application that's got a lot of little text that's gonna be difficult to see on a tiny little screen. So you've been warned. Don't complain to me that you can't see the screen or you can't read it, uh, because I just warned you right now. But anyway, I said on Twitter that I wanna do more review of inexpensive or more affordable items and this can't get any more affordable because it's free and today we're going to be taking a look at nzxt's cam software which is actually something i've been using for a long time now you guys have seen it in the background of some of my videos many of you have asked about it uh well it's now been updated several times it's gotten really really good and so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys today what i use to monitor pretty much anything going on with my pc and i do mean anything With its unique freeform modular system, the new Mastercase Maker 5 from Cooler Master allows unparalleled flexibility with its adjustable internal layout and exterior customization options. Learn more about how you can start customizing your own case by following the link down in the description. So before we get started, if you guys wanna download this and follow along, again, it is absolutely free. In fact, this isn't even a sponsored video because it's free, it's just something that I actually use and I want to share with you guys. So this is the NZXT Cam software and it works with pretty much anything or any PC. You don't even have to have NZXT components installed like the Hue or the Kraken or any of that stuff. You can still use this with your system. Although if you do have any of those particular items, particularly the Hue Plus, which is the lighting kit that I am using here in Skunk Works, um, the Kraken, the Grid Plus, which is their fan control, uh, or anything else that's NZXT software controlled, this is going to be how you control it. So you might already have this if you have uh, any of those items. But anyway, head to the link in the description. You will be taken to the page that you're looking at right here where you can download the software and sign up is not even required. It's recommended and the reason being uh, you can see full logs and some of the software features uh, do require a sign up. So I guess it would, NZXT, you know, they want you to sign up for it, but you don't have to. You can continue as a guest. Just keep in mind some of the features are going to be locked. Uh, if you don't actually sign up. So anyway, once you've done that, go ahead and uh, pause the video, download this, install it, and then uh, you can go ahead and continue from there. So it'll automatically download the app, and once you've gone through all that, you can log in, and then this is what you should see. Now, I don't want to take up too much space here on the screen. Obviously, with the webcam, I want you guys to see everything, especially once I expand this. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna turn off the webcam. I don't wanna kill any pixels in that part of your screen right there. My face is known to do that. I, I can cause dead pixels, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Um, but you will hear the sexiness of my voice still. Anyway, dashboard, and we're gonna move kind of quickly through this here. I wanna show you the parts that I use the most. So the dashboard, this is the main screen you'll start on, and you'll see, you can see your CPU temperature right here. You can see your load right here. And uh, that's a pretty good indicator of what your computer is doing. So like right now, obviously my computer is sitting about eight or 9%. We are rendering and copying this video as, uh, as I record it. This is my CPU temperature. Um, also too, your graphics cards can be seen right here. So we got GPU one sitting at 29C, GPU two sitting at 25C, and in my case, GPU three also sitting at 28C. You can also see the load that they're under. And it also uses this circle chart to kind of represent um, What's happening with the temperatures here based on where they are their rated maxes? So you can see 29C is only about this far of the GPU's rated max. Uh, moving down here, you can see we've also got our RAM. So you can see I've got four eight gigabyte sticks equaling 32 gigabytes of Corsair memory. And my memory is under about 12% load or 3.9 gigabytes used. You can also see, um, unfortunately right here, it's not actually properly scanning what is using that memory, but I do have this software installed on one of my other PCs and it will show you the order of what programs are using memory and what is using the most. Um, but as you can see, you know, obviously there's a lot of different iterations of hardware and software and stuff. And for whatever reason, cam on this machine is not showing me that, but that's okay. I don't really care about what's using memory because I've got a lot of it. But if you don't have a lot, at least you can get an idea of what's using memory. Over here, you can also see your hard drives. You can see your different drives. Like for instance, my C drive is a Kingston um, 225 gigabyte SSD, or technically it's a 240 gig SSD, but you know that once a cache part in partition is used up, you don't get the whole thing. But anyway, I'm using 121 gigs of that and I have 101 gigabytes left. Yeah, obviously when I do the Skunk Works update, I'm gonna be putting in much bigger SSDs. And then the drive D is a N drive, and a drive. It's technically, this is my, um, it is a four terabyte Western Digital Black, and I'm using 1.7 terabytes 
I've got two terabytes free. Now at the bottom right here, you can see I have the Hue Plus installed. Obviously that is my lighting configuration of my lighting control. So that's how I control all the lights in Skunk Works and you can change the modes right here using these buttons. You can turn the channels on and off. Um, and that's kind of a quick, uh, just run down the dashboard here. Now the dashboard is simply just kind of a high level, but if we go to the advanced here, then you can see we see even more happening with the temperatures and watch this. If we expand it to full screen, bam. Look at all that info you get right there. You get a lot of information happening here with your system. Now, the cool thing about if you signed up for an account, and again, this is not a sponsored video, I swear, but signing up for an account, it's free and it logs all of your information to the cloud. So it spends a little bit of your bandwidth, not, not a lot, I mean, just a few K of upload uh, to send this information to the cloud. And you can access this from any device, a smart device like your phone or your tablet, another computer, to monitor what is happening with your machine. And you can also see in different duration um, what happened in the last hour, what happened over the last day, the last week. You can see trends of what's happening with your machine. If you see that your temperatures are steadily increasing, uh, you can compare like, okay, why was I why was I running so hot yesterday? And you can see what was happening. What was the CPU load, et cetera, et cetera. So moving over here on the left, it gives you everything about your machine. You got your CPU core type right here, your video cards. You can see I still have the three Titan X's. We haven't done my update yet. Um, technically, I guess it's a downgrade to go to two cards from three. I don't know, whatever. Our memory, our motherboard type, Gigabyte X99 SoC Champion CF. I actually don't even know what the CF stands for. Crossfire? I don't know. I'm running SLI. I digress. And then right here, we have our hard drives. Um, the other screen only showed two for some reason. Not even sure why. Maybe it ran out of room. But I've got a 240 gig SSD for the main drive for the operating system. And then I've got two Western Digital Black four terabyte drives right here. And then I've got a 480 gig Kingston SSD as well. Um, but anyway, you can see your RAM load right here in graph format. Um, but the cool thing here is your temperature. You can see what's going on with your temperatures here. And if you double click, you can expand that particular core and you can kind of see a history right there of what's going on. This is over the last minute. This is what's happened here over the last hour. And as I showed you earlier, last day and last week, this will show up if you've got the account set up so that you're actually sending that information up to the drive. And then FPS stats right here. Um, it says right here, start gaming to see your stats. If you click that, you can actually get an overlay, which is very similar to like MSI Afterburner. So this will actually scan your games or kind of keep track of what your games are doing as you're playing them, at least if it can hook it. I don't know if it works with Vulkan or OpenGL, which is pretty much only going to affect Doom. But anything that is a DirectX based game, you are going to be able to uh, monitor that, see it in real time, and it will log it so that you can see what's happening right here. And then moving back to the dashboard tab, if you click over here to where build is, you can see um, even more what's going on here with your system. So you can see the code name for your CPU, you can see your TDP, the socket type, the frequency. If anyone ever asked you like, what BIOS version are you running on your motherboard? You don't have to let, leave your system and go into the BIOS. You can go right here to the build and see I'm running an X99 SOC Champion and I'm on the F22H BIOS. And the BIOS date is 5-3-2016. This was the BIOS that came out in preparation for Broadwell E. Um, you can see here how long your hard drive has even been powered on. I mean, look at this right here. My my Kingston SSD has been running for 3,097 hours. It's not really all that long, if you want to know the truth. What I find kind of interesting though is the fact that my 480 gigabyte drive has been running for longer. But I guess it's not that weird because I had it in the system before the other one. Um, you can see your video cards right here, how many shaders you've got, your turbo clock, your default clock, all that stuff is showing right here. So there's a lot of cool things. You can see your memory timing. So everything you've ever wanted to know about your system is here. It's going to make you an expert on your system. The gaming tab does pretty much the same thing we showed you for games the, uh, uh, in, the other, in the other window. But as you can see right here with it being grayed out, and I'm not going to start any games right now with, you know, with the fact that I'm streaming this. But you can kind of see through here, it's got a list of games. And what's cool is it will keep track of how long you played those games and your average FPS in those games and the resolution at which you got those FPS. So you could sit there and literally benchmark your own stuff on your own if you wanted using this app and uh, don't have to spend a lot of time figuring it all out. All you do is play your games and come back here and look, oh, here's, here are my averages. Now the last tab we're gonna go into right here, this is still a beta, uh, but it, it's gonna actually, I already have already been in here so you can't see the disclaimer, but it's gonna pop up saying, if you blow up your graphics cards, that's your bad, bruh. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, you cam is looking to be kind of an all-in-one piece of software where you can do anything for your system you want to do in one place without having to have a bunch of different 
uh, software running at the same time, running a bunch of different software that's scanning things like temperatures and voltages and stuff, they can start to give false readings when they're all tapping into that sensor themselves and probing it. Uh, probe. Anyway, yeah, when they're, when they're probing it, um, you can start to get some false readings. So you want one piece of software that can do everything. So this right here, their tuning tab, is where they're allowing you to be able to start playing around with the overclocking and fan profile of your GPUs. Now, it's some pretty basic stuff here. You can increase anything that's accessible by something like, say, MSI Afterburner, um, or that's unlocked in the BIOS, you can pretty much apply here inside of CAM. But I just want to say this real quick. If you are using something like MSI Afterburner or Precision X or GPU Tweak or whatever, you're going to want to uninstall and disable those profiles in the other software. You don't want those softwares conflicting with trying to take control over things like memory clock, core clock, and voltages. Bad things are going to happen. So only use one piece of software. But you can control your power limit right here. You can control your core clock. You can it even show you right here your percentage of overclock. So for instance, if I was to give it, you know, let's run this thing at, uh, that's only allowing me to go 1250. But anyway, I guess obviously they only let you go so far for the sake of being safe, I guess. I know my, grap my Titan Nexus can go much higher than 1250. Um, but again, this is a beta, so keep that in mind. It's going to reset the settings here. Um, but you can control the memory clock, fan profile, and all that stuff. So it's kind of a big deal if you ask me to just have an easy place to go in here and start changing things like fan profile and give yourself a pretty basic overclock without having too much to worry about. Now up here at the top right here, you can take screenshots of your, uh, so you can say that you can take a screenshot of particular settings if you want to keep track of something. And then this little moon mode here, this is how you can change the colors. I think the white is way too hard on the eyes. So I like to keep it in the night mode, if you will. But on a high level guys, that is the NZXT cam software. If you guys have any of the NZXT hardware, like I said, like the Kraken water cooler, the Grid Plus fan controller, or the Hue Plus, then you've probably already seen this software and are already using it because this is how you have to control it. Uh, but I think it's really neat that NZXT has expanded this to be an all-inclusive suite to take control of uh, various things happening with your system and to monitor everything happening with your system. I use NZXT 24-7, the CAM software, as a monitoring suite. That way I can see what's happening with things like voltages and whatnot. Because I don't want to have to have a bunch of pieces of software running to try and capture everything that's happening. So far, NZXT's CAM has been pretty stable. Um, I did follow it though up through the beta process, so it was kind of rocky in the beginning with some crashes or some hard locks of the software itself, not the system, but the software just stopped responding. Um, or just certain things not being recognized. But that seems to have really started to work itself out to where it is a much more stable piece of software. But hey, it's free, and you might as well at least try it out. I mean, the link is down in the description. If you guys don't like it, uninstall it and move on. At least you guys aren't out anything out of pocket. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Tell me if you like this kind of re software review. Um, if so, let me know what other pieces of software you think I should review. But with that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.